compress the buttons. I don't know how to operate this uh, talk here. Need some technical assistance. Yeah. Okay, there we are. Um, right, this is a map of Europe, and you can see Iceland is marked uh, up there in red. That's not really the colour of Iceland, but you probably think it's all ice and snow. Well, it certainly is in the winter, but it's not as cold as you would think. Those of you who are geography students will know about the, the Gulf Stream and the North Atlantic Drift, which carry warm water up from the Gulf of Mexico uh, across the North Atlantic. So Iceland is warmed by those warm waters. Right, the uh, interesting thing about Iceland is that it sits right on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, which is uh, the dividing point between two plates. Again, geography students will know about the plates which form the, the crust of the Earth. So Iceland is subject to a lot of volcanic activity and that's one thing that makes it very interesting to visit as long as you're not caught in the wrong place at the wrong time. And here are just some of the areas of volcanic activity in recent years in uh, Iceland marked by the red triangles. Uh, I must say that none of these photos are, have been taken by me. I have to pinch them all from the internet because all my photos are, were pre-digital age photos. But this is uh, a satellite view of Iceland in the winter where only the southern coast is free of snow. But uh, if we flick to the next one, we will see a summer view. Oh, oh it's not as clear as you too much light up there. Anyway, these are ice caps. This is the largest ice cap in Europe. If you think of Iceland as being in Europe, it's sort of right on the edge halfway to America. But these are permanent ice caps up to a little over 2,000 meters. And uh, the flow of river water from these is tremendous. Uh, really a very high uh, runoff uh, into the ocean. Well, there you can see uh, ice flows, but it's, as I say, it's not all like this. Let's move on to another, another scene. Uh, here we've got one of the glacial rivers coming down from one of the ice caps, and it carries a lot of sediment in, uh, carried in the, in the water is sediment. A friend and I were camping near a river like this many years ago, and it was the only source of water around because that part of Iceland is quite dry. And when we wanted to get collect some water for cooking, we, you, you cannot drink that water directly. You have to let it settle in a bottle or a container and then just drink the top part because the sediment is actually to damage your stomach. Uh, okay, this is an area of volcanic activity where the mountains are made of rhyolite, which is a very bright orangey yellow color, and it's spectacular to walk through these areas. Uh, and it's, this is the same area. I was involved uh, with a walking tour, a hiking company, uh, for the four summers while I was in Iceland uh, many years ago. And we were leading walking tours through areas like this each summer. Um, Iceland's also famous for the geysers, which are uh, superheated water coming from below the surface, and they erupt in spectacular displays like this, the great geyser, the original geyser, the one after which all others have been named, and it shoots up to about 65 meters uh, about every 50 minutes. It's 
quite irregular. Uh, some houses from the 19th century with grass or turf roofs, which uh, the turf is cut from the ground and then they place it on the roof and that provides good insulation. But it also means you get flowers and things growing on the roof of your house, which is not an interesting place to have your garden. Um, all the way around the coast there are fishing villages and towns. Fishing is a very major part of the economy. And uh, here you see a whole fleet of fishing boats. And uh, yeah, it's really fishing and whaling. Whales are also hunted and it's become a very uh, controversial issue. Uh, the hunting of whales by certain countries has caused a lot of concern because of the uh, uh, declining numbers of whales around the world. Uh, here's uh, Akureyri, which is the northernmost town in, in Iceland. It is close to the Arctic Circle. It's at 66 degrees north, and yet in the winter the temperature only goes down to about minus 8, minus 10 degrees, which is not that cold considering how far north it is. Uh, yeah, similar view, but this is uh, Reykjavik, actually, the capital city. Uh, there's a, a lake in the middle of the town, and it's a very pleasant place to walk around. Not a, not a huge city at all, only about 200,000 people at the most, I think, now, nowadays. 